Hi everyone. Today in this video let us discuss about nitrofurantoin. Nitrofurantoin is an antibacterial agent. This medication is used to treat uncomplicated urinary tract infections. It is effective against both gram positive as well as gram negative aerobic organisms. It is well known with its brand name Macrobit where it is available as a macro crystalline form. It is available as capsules in this macro crystalline form. Even it is available as oral suspension where it is well known with the name Furadantin. Before using this nitrofurantoin you should know important facts about this medication. What is this macrodantin form? What is the use of this formulation? How it reduces gastrointestinal side effects? What are the possible precautions that should be considered with use of nitrofurantoin? And how this medication works in treating urinary tract infections? All such things we will discuss in this video. First of all, let us see what is macrodantin form. Each capsule of nitrofurantoin contains two forms of this medication. Around 25% of this nitrofurantoin is available as large crystals and it is called macrocrystalline form. This macrocrystalline form has slow rate of dissolution. Therefore, when it is going to be mixed with nitrofurantoin, it reduces the rate of dissolution. The remaining 75% is the nitrofurantoin monohydrate, which is in the form of powder blend that is mixed with macrodantin form. Now, this capsule forms a gel matrix in presence of gastric and intestinal fluids. From this matrix, the drug is slowly released that reduces the severity of gastrointestinal side effects. When nitrofurantoin is released immediately, it can produce troublesome gastric side effects. So in order to minimize these side effects, it is converted into macrodantin form, where this formulation contains 25% of nitrofurantoin as large crystals and 75% as nitrofurantoin monohydrate. Now let us see how this medication works. Nitrofurantoin acts as bactericidal. That means it kills the bacteria. But this medication works in a different way compared with other antibacterial agents. Nitrofurantoin is reduced by bacterial flavoproteins. This results in the formation of few of the intermediates which are highly reactive and they can produce the inactivation of bacterial ribosomes. They just act like the free radicals which are highly reactive towards the bacterial ribosomes and they can alter their functionality. This results in the inactivation of important biochemical reactions in the bacteria. It leads to decreased protein synthesis as well as decreased DNA synthesis. It also alters aerobic energy metabolism and even it disrupts RNA synthesis and cell wall synthesis. By all of these actions, nitrofurantoin can produce bactericidal action. Nitrofurantoin has few advantages compared with other antibacterial agents. The development of resistance with nitrofurantoin is very less possible because this medication is not working on a specific target. Instead, it produces toxic effects on various biochemical reactions in the bacteria. Even the cross resistance with other antibiotics and sulfamides is not observed with nitrofurantoin. However, before using this medication, specific bacterial infection should be proved or suspected in order to minimize resistance developed towards other antibacterial agents. Another limitation of this medication is that it has less tissue distribution Therefore, it cannot act on the bacterial infections that are widely spread in the body. This may result in the reappearance of bacteriuria, the presence of bacteria in the urine. In such conditions, other antibacterial agents with broader tissue distribution should be used to completely eradicate this infection. Now, let us the precautions of this medication. Nitrofurantoin can produce few of the gastrointestinal side effects. That's why it is preferred to be taken with food. Food can reduce these side effects and increase the tolerance as well as it can improve the drug absorption. It is also recommended that the complete course of nitrofurantoin should be completed in order to avoid any reappearance of infection. When you are taking antacids, particularly those containing magnesium trisilicate, 
they can reduce the rate and extent of absorption of nitrofurantoin therefore they should not be administered simultaneously with nitrofurantoin few of the uricosuric agents can interfere with excretion of nitrofurantoin medications like probenecid sulfinpyrazone are used to increase the uric acid excretion and they are particularly used in people with elevated levels of uric acid these uricosuric agents can affect the renal tubular secretion of few of the medications particularly they can inhibit the renal tubular secretion of nitrofurantoin so this medication is not secreted into the renal tubules this results in the more retention of this medication in the body this increases the serum levels of nitrofurantoin which may lead to its toxicity even it can reduce the nitrofurantoin levels in the urine which is the main site of action of this medication therefore the efficacy to treat the urinary tract bacterial infection is reduced in presence of uricosuric agents nitrofurantoin can produce hepatotoxicity it can produce few of the hepatic reactions like hepatitis cholestatic jaundice and even hepatic necrosis that's why this medication should be used at the recommended dose and any factors that increase the levels of this medication in the body can significantly affect the function of the liver therefore liver test should be done regularly when the nitrofurantoin is used for longer periods and in case of development of hepatitis immediately the drug should be withdrawn nitrofurantoin can also affect the function of your neurons it can induce one of the condition peripheral neuropathy this results in loss of sensation pinning and tingling sensation particularly the hands and feet this may be severe in a few people and may become irreversible in presence of few of the risk factors in people with diabetes electrolyte imbalance this condition may be more elevated vitamin b deficiency can also increase the risk of peripheral neuropathy and people with anemia are also having the more risk for developing this condition nitrofurantoin can produce hemolysis so this may result in development of hemolytic anemia however this condition is observed in the people who are having glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme deficiency this enzyme is required for the maintenance of red blood cells so in the people with g6p deficiency the hemolytic anemia may be more elevated in case of hemolysis immediately this drug should be withdrawn and any other factors that increase the hemolytic anemia should be avoided just like many of the antibiotics nitrofurantoin can also induce the diarrhea however this diarrhea is developed due to the overgrowth of clostridium difficile infection that's why this diarrhea is called as clostridium difficile associated diarrhea just like many of the antibiotics nitrofurantoin can alter the gut flora normally this gut flora is have a protective action that fights against the pathological organisms due to the use of nitrofurantoin this gut flora is inhibited which results in the overgrowth of clostridium difficile this microorganism can produce two types of toxins toxin a and toxin b which are responsible for increased gut motility leading to diarrhea in few cases they can also produce hypertoxin which is fatal and produce a damage to the colon therefore in people with any his previous history of antibiotic induced diarrhea careful monitoring should be done for first two months of starting of nitrofurantoin therapy fluid and electrolyte management should be done and protein supplementation can also minimize the risk with the clostridium difficile associated diarrhea nitrofurantoin can also affect your lungs it can produce few of the pulmonary reactions that may develop symptoms like pneumonia long term use particularly in the elder people can increase the pulmonary toxicity therefore in elders it should be used properly for a short period the pulmonary toxicity can be more pronounced when it is used for greater than 6 months now let us the side effects produced by this medication this medication mainly produces gastrointestinal side effects like nausea flatulence and diarrhea other side effects like abdominal pain dyspepsia can also be observed it can also produce dizziness drowsiness and headache vertigo dizziness drowsiness can also be observed and it can also increase the intracranial blood pressure confusion 
and few psychotic reactions on the skin it can produce itching skin rashes and alopecia loss of hair now let us the doses of nitrofurantoin just we have seen that nitrofurantoin is available as a macro crystals in the form of capsules and it is also available as a combination of macro crystals and monohydrate form where this capsule is available at a strength of 100 mg it is also available as oral suspension as furadantin as macro crystals it is available at three strengths such as 25 mg 50 mg and 100 mg in the form of macro crystals it can be started at a dose range of 50 to 100 mg given for every six hours for seven days it can also be given in the form of macro bed which is a combination of macro crystals and monohydrate in the ratio of 25 percent to the 75 percent this macro bed formulation can be given at a dose of 100 mg twice daily for seven days in order to minimize the gastrointestinal side effects nitrofurantoin should be taken along with food and food can also increase the bioavailability of this medication what is nitrofurantoin nitrofurantoin is an antibacterial agent that is indicated for the treatment of uncomplicated urinary tract infections what is macrodantin and furadantin macrodantin is the macro crystal form of nitrofurantoin which has slow rate of dissolution this macro crystals have low rate of dissolution which minimizes gastrointestinal side effects furadantin is the oral suspension form of nitrofurantoin how this nitrofurantoin works nitrofurantoin is going to be reduced by bacterial flavoproteins which produces few of the toxic intermediates that interfere with bacterial ribosome this inhibits protein synthesis dna synthesis rna synthesis and cell wall synthesis what is the main side effect of nitrofurantoin this medication mainly produces gastrointestinal side effects like abdominal pain constipation or even diarrhea what are the important precautions with this medication at higher doses this medication produces hepatotoxicity so liver test should be done when it is used at higher doses on long term therapy nitrofurantoin can produce pulmonary toxicity in people with pre existing risk factors this medication can produce peripheral neuropathy hemolytic anemia can be observed in people with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme deficiency so that's all about this medication nitrofurantoin I hope this video is useful to you. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.